Hi everybody, it's Gemma, welcome back to Pampered Wolf. Today I'm going to be reviewing and testing out some Korean beauty. You've all been asking for it. It's not gonna be for the face this though. It's gonna be for the feet. It's gonna take a couple of weeks to film because it takes a while to get the end result. Don't worry, this video is not gonna be two weeks long. This is gonna be quite a short one. So today I'm gonna be reviewing and testing out a foot peeling mask. Now this is either going to be the best thing ever or an absolute disaster. So if you are interested in seeing how I get on with this and how it works, then please keep watching. Okay, so I have been asked so many times to try out a little bit of Korean beauty here and there. And at the moment I'm trialing out other products for the face. So I like to only introduce one thing at a time with me having problematic skin. So I can't really introduce any Korean beauty for the face at the moment. So I thought we'd try out the feet. So let me just show you what's in this pack. So we've got this little thing here, which I'm not quite sure what that is. And uh, this little thing here, which I'm assuming are some little socks. Let me just read what it says on the back. Now most of it is in Korean, so can't really tell what it is, which is helpful. But there is a little bit on the back that is in English. Okay, so you've got to wear the socks on both feet, which are these little things. You've got to put the liquid from each pouch in the actual socks and then you've got to wear the socks for an hour and a half. So I'm gonna lay and watch a movie this afternoon which will be really, really nice. Then you've got to wash your feet gently with water. After use, dead skin cells start to come off naturally from the fourth to the seventh day. This sounds vile. After two weeks, hard and rough dead skin cells are removed and your feet will feel smooth and soft. Okay, so apparently if you suffer from any allergies or sensitivity, you really shouldn't try this out. This is a pretty hardcore product. So if you suffer from diabetes, you also shouldn't use this or any eczema of any sort. And if you put it on and you get any sensitivity, a rash, irritation or itching, you should take it off straight away. So. I'm a little bit nervous about putting this on. It sounds absolutely disgusting, but my feet are a little bit uncared for at the moment. So I'm gonna try this out. The next time you will see me will be on my vlogging camera and I will be applying these little things. Hopefully they will work and I will end up with absolutely stunning feet for the time of year where I never get my feet out. Maybe I should have done this in summer. Anyway, I'm doing it now. It's okay. Maybe I'll wear some sandals next week in the snow just to make a point. I've got really nice feet. Okay, so this is the Baby Silky Foot One Shot Peeling Mask from Holika Holika. You can get this from Feel Unique, you can get this from Look Fantastic and also from Beauty Bay. You can order it online and it's £9.95. I managed to get mine on offer for £7.50 so let's hope it's worth it. Okay, so let's get these little plastic booties on. I'm going to really struggle holding the camera and putting these on at the same time so I'm going to put the camera down and put these on and I'll be back in just a sec. Okay, so I've got the little booties on. Let me just show you inside because I actually thought these were just going to be plain plastic booties but actually on the inside there is a little bit of a fabric sock um, that I'm guessing all the liquid is going to soak into these and really help it from not sloshing out during the hour and a half. Hello Margot. Hello. Very inquisitive wanting to know what on earth I'm doing. Probably rolling her eyes saying oh god she's at it again. Anyway, let's get the liquid in these. So I'm going to cut the top of one of these and pour it into one of the socks. And then I'm going to do the same with the other side. I will be right back. Okay, so this is a really runny liquid. Let me just show you. It pours out straight away. A little bit like just a water consistency, really. It's extremely liquid. And it soaks straight into the fabric sock, which is doesn't feel unpleasant. I definitely wouldn't want to just be wearing a plastic sock all day. I think that would get quite nasty and the liquid would just slosh around in there all day. So they do have two little cords here made of plastic, which you tie those on to make sure that no liquid escapes. 
I'm just going to tie those now. And there we have it. The actual product itself smells quite pleasant. It's like a floral smell. Let me just have another whiff. Yeah, it smells quite floral. It's really nice. It doesn't smell like vinegar or anything like that. So it's definitely not an unpleasant smell. They are swishing around a little bit. So you just need to make sure that your entire foot is covered so that you're not missing any for the hour and a half that this has got to be on. And then sit in a comfortable place for an hour and a half and um, let it do its magic. I'll be back in an hour and a half. See you all in a bit. Okay, so I just wanted to let you know that I have just walked into the kitchen in these, which was really a bad idea. I should have known better. If any of these seams split, then you've wasted all your product. Luckily, they have held together. But I just wanted to come on and let you know that these booties aren't actually that big. Now, I'm a UK size 5, which is a US 6. I'm not quite sure what it is in European, but I will link it in the description box below. They may say that men can put these on men with a size 12 foot but after walking into the kitchen i can safely say that my feet are quite snug in these and i only have small feet so um anyway i'll see you all in a bit okay so i've just taken off the booties and i've washed my feet in the bath upstairs let me just zoom you in on my nail varnish just so that you can have a look my nail varnish is exactly the same color as the nail varnish that i've got on my hands and you can see quite clearly that they are slightly different colours now, the one on my feet, a little bit lighter in shade, it just feels like it's deteriorated a little bit, it's a little bit rougher to touch as well, it's not got that shine on the top anymore, so it definitely has been affected by the um, foot peel solution, so I don't know whether you want to bear that in mind before you put it on, whether you put it on completely bare toes or whether you have nail varnish on, but it definitely has affected them. This treatment did not sting in the slightest and I definitely don't have any sensitive areas on my feet at the moment. We're now going to have to wait four to seven days to see what this starts doing because it doesn't seem to have done anything at the moment, but it's not supposed to have. So I will check in with you after four to seven days or whenever there is something to see. Hi everybody, it's Christmas Eve, it's very very exciting, I spent my day peeling carrots and potatoes and doing the stuffing and preparing the turkey, so I'm getting shouted at a little bit for filming today, but something has happened to my feet that I needed to share with you. Now, I actually started filming this video a really, really long time ago because you're supposed to give the pack two weeks for everything to go from start to finish. So you put the actual liquid on your feet for an hour and a half and then over the two week period after you've taken the mask off your feet, it's supposed to flake off and do its job. Now, the first time I actually applied this mask to my feet, I did not soak my feet in water for 10 minutes before applying the booties and the mask. And that was a big, big problem because nothing happened, nothing flaked off. And I'm putting that down to the fact that my feet weren't soft enough to begin with. There was far too much hard skin on my feet to begin with and the mask just couldn't penetrate it all. Sounds disgusting that, doesn't it? I'm so sorry. Anyway, so I've done it again and you have to wait an entire month from start to finish, so you're not allowed to do two of these masks on your feet within a month. So I've had to wait quite a long time, hence the fact that it's Christmas Eve and I'm filming. Go me. Anyway, I wanted to show you my feet because something has started to happen. I actually applied the mask to my feet for an hour and a half last Monday, and it's now Monday again. So it's been seven full days. And let me show you the state of my feet today. I've woken up with my feet like this this morning. I'm going to show you. Okay, so as you can see, my feet look vile. <laughs> I really do look vile. They look worse than they did when they first started, honestly. It's really, really not good. But as you can see here, the skin has started to flake off. Honestly, it's absolutely vile. So this isn't painful at all, it's not even slightly uncomfortable. This is just hard skin shedding from your feet. And I'm not leaving a trail everywhere that I walk, but <laughs> I'm really, really pleased that I didn't wait until the summer months to actually do this. I'm glad I'm doing it in winter because 
I mean, you've just seen the state of my feet at the moment. And it's been a week since I applied the mask to my feet. You don't want your feet to look like this in the summer months while the mask is actually working and trying to shed the dead skin. You really don't. You don't want to be walking around in flip-flops with your feet looking like mine do at the moment. Anyway, signing off. The next time I speak to you, my feet will hopefully be baby soft. So I'll see you all in a flash. But for me, it will be a lot longer. See you all in a minute. Welcome to the final check-in. It's now been around about two and a half weeks since I first applied the Holica Holica solution to my feet. That is the second batch of Holica Holica to my feet. It's done incredibly well. I'm gonna show you some pictures of how it was around about five days ago. And as you can see, my feet are really, really flaky in this picture. The flakiness didn't actually come off whilst my feet were dry. It flaked off a tiny weeny bit, but to get the most out of the flakiness, you really need to soak your feet in the bath and just gently massage your feet. And once you're gently massaging your feet, the skin just peels off effortlessly. You should never ever peel the skin off your feet, especially while your feet are dry. If you're in the bath and you're just gently rubbing them and the skin just flakes off, then that is fantastic. And it sounds absolutely vile. In fact, it is absolutely vile. But it's weirdly satisfying feeling it all just go off your feet. And you know, any of those people that if you've got a scab, you have to pick it. I'm one of those people. It's really, really satisfying having this or just all your skin at once. It just peels off your feet and leaves baby soft skin. I have never seen my feet look so good before. They look absolutely amazing. Here's a couple of pictures of how my feet look at the moment. You'll have to excuse, obviously, this is not posh studio lighting. This is just natural lighting that you see in these photographs in, but my feet look so much better than they did when I first started this treatment. Now, would I recommend this Holica Holica Baby Silky Foot One Shot Peeling Solution? Now that's a really interesting question because yes, I would recommend this, but I definitely wouldn't recommend this for summer because you do go for a long period of time with your feet looking absolutely awful. I mean, there is no way that I could have got my feet out during this two and a half week process. Absolutely no chance because they just look dry and irritable and just a bit nasty, to be quite honest. You've seen the pictures, you'll understand. This is definitely worth the money. I think it was on offer for £7.50. I think the most expensive it is in the UK is about £11. This is definitely worth it if you read the instructions like I did not do properly on the first time round. If I'd have done that, I'd have realized that I had to soak my feet before I applied this solution just to make the skin soft because the first time I applied this solution, it did nothing. And I mean nothing, no difference whatsoever because I hadn't soaked my feet beforehand. Now it does say you get better results if you soak your feet. It doesn't say you get no results at all if you don't soak your feet. I would definitely say soak your feet before you try this. Otherwise you will be severely, severely disappointed. I was really disappointed that I got to buy another one of these and try it all again. And you're not allowed to use more than one of these in a month. So I had to wait quite a long time before I could try it again, because these things are quite potent. I don't think now I've actually done this process, I will have to do it again. I think this is one of those things that you do to get the majority of the dead skin and the hard skin off your feet. And then you can stay on top of them using your normal foot scrubs, foot files, foot moisturizers, and keep them looking superb all year round. You shouldn't have to do this again if it's worked properly, if it's been effective the first time round. So I don't think I'll be buying another one of these. I definitely recommend them if your feet are in a little bit of a mess, like mine were, just to get a head start. And then once this has been effective, you can stay on top of it with your normal treatments that you would normally do on a daily basis, which I neglected to do for quite a while, which is why my feet were in such a mess. Anyway. 
I would definitely recommend this, especially for the price. Excellent price, £7.50 up to £11, depending on where you get it from in the UK. If you get it in the January sales, even better, because there's probably gonna be a 50% off on this, and it's well worth trying. Hope you found this video helpful. If you have, please do give it a big thumbs up. This took a really long time to film because I did it wrong first time round. My fault, obviously, but I do hope you found it helpful in some way. Don't forget I am also on Instagram if you'd like to follow me on there. In the new year, there's gonna be a lot more stuff go on Instagram. I'm gonna do some eye looks for everybody that I can't fit in on YouTube. A lot of people have been asking me to do eye looks on YouTube, but as I only film on YouTube twice a week, it would get a little bit full of eye looks if I did all the requests that you asked for. So I'm gonna put those on Instagram. So if you are not on my Instagram already, it's Pampered Wolf, all lowercase, no spaces. Try and follow me on there if you can, and then you'll see all those eye looks in the new year. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. There is a watermark in this corner. If you click on it, it will take you through to my homepage where you can subscribe. Hope to see you all again soon. Bye.